after many years of studying religion and coming to the conclusion that Islam was the only religion that made sense to my nature and who I wanted to be in the eyes of God, I converted to Islam. My life has been changed drastically, and even though I took about three years to negotiate this decision and think about all the things in my life that I would be leaving behind and all the things I would incorporate, I had no idea how different my life would be. I had no idea. I have compiled a list of seven things that I never expected. Number seven. I didn't expect to love dressing modestly. I thought I would have to swaddle myself in hideously uncreative clothing in order to observe hijab. While I became interested in controlling who saw what parts of me, I didn't want to give up my style. Now there is nothing wrong with looking bland if that is your thing, but it's not mine. I am in love with color, and I am a highly creative person with a love for fashion. I learned that I didn't have to give up my signature style just because I wanted to be modest. Modesty doesn't mean giving up style. I was very happy to discover that. Number six. I didn't expect there to be so many different brands of Islam. I didn't expect that every Muslim that I would meet would want me to subscribe to their own special brand of Islam. It gets very confusing for brothers and sisters who convert. All you have to do is verify, verify, verify. Know your sources. The great thing about Islam is that everything is documented and verified, meticulously. I learned this the hard way. When I first converted, I thought every Muslim knew better than me, and mostly they did. But there are also Muslims out there who feel very passionately about the brand of Islam their parents blindly took from their parents, and so on. Muslims and non-Muslims alike, go to the source and ask your friendly neighborhood Muslims to verify the Islamic facts he is trying to sell you. If he becomes upset by this request, walk away. He has an issue with arrogance. Number five. I didn't expect to save so much time not fighting a daily battle with my hair. If you take into account that before Islam, on a weekly basis, I would spend about five hours in total grooming my mane, and over the period of 12 years of wearing hijab, and maybe devoting only one hour a week to making my hair look nice for the hubby, I have saved approximately 4,000 years just in hair care time alone. That is awesome. Number four. I didn't expect to be expected to change my name. I have a perfectly fine name, thank you. Teresa. It means one who reaps what she sows. How much more Muslim can you get? And most people call me Corbin, a name meaning raven or blackbird, because I am a descendant of dark-haired folks from Gaul who were called Corbin, or black-feathered for this pigment of their hair. By the way, the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, didn't change their names when they converted. Their names became Muslim names, and so did mine, and so can yours. Number 3. I didn't expect attendance to be taken. I did expect to be part of a community, as a part of the majority in my country, community was not something I was familiar with. What I did not expect was that my attendance in that community would be monitored, questioned, and scrutinized. Where were you last Friday prayer? Why weren't you at the lectures every night and morning? Why don't you come out to the special event we have planned for small children since you neither have small children nor are you a small child? All well-meaning, but what they don't understand is that I am a lone wolf. However, I have learned that if you want people to like you and desire your presence, don't go, or at the very least, be indifferent to showing up. Number two, I didn't think I would be expected to be an expert on Middle Eastern politics. I didn't know every Tom, Dick, and Harry would want to debate Middle Eastern politics with me just because I'm a Muslim. Being a Muslim doesn't have anything to do with knowing about the Middle East. I am not and have no desire to become an expert on Middle Eastern politics. Number 1. I didn't expect to be loved. 
I didn't expect that perfect strangers in every small town and big city I would visit would immediately love me, just because we would share love of God Almighty. And I didn't expect to feel the same way for them. That's my list for now. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.